psychic with the T, the psychic with the T, that's me, that's me. The one with the T, the one with the T, that's me, that's me. When the planets align, spirit speaks on time, that's me, that's me. When the planets align, spirit speaks on time, that's me, that's me. When the trolls be gone, candle work be strong, that's me, that's me. When the trolls be gone, candle work be strong, that's me, that's me. I don't care what the others say, let's channel some energy today. I don't care what the others say, let's channel some energy today. Capricorn, Virgo, Libra strong, this tarot card reading about to be long. Capricorn, Virgo, Libra strong, this tarot card reading about to be long. Hi everyone, hi Scorpio, welcome to your horoscope psychic tarot reading for the months of October, November, and December of 2020. Thank you all for being here. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new. I am Lamar Townsend. I'm a tarot reader, a psychic and energy channeler, and an astrologer. Make sure you hit the bell next to the, sub -subs next to the subscribe button so that you'll get a notification every time I go live or upload a brand new video. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little bit tired. Also, make sure you check out my second channel on Vimeo, V-I-M-E-O dot com slash Lamar Townsend Tarot. I think I've been up since 2 a.m., Actually, I don't know. Anyway, although I took a nap at some point, but I digress. Check out my second channel on Vimeo, V-I-M-E-O dot com slash Lamar Townsend Tarot, um, where I post exclusive content, such as part two of a lot of my uh, psychic readings that I post on YouTube. Of course, if you would be interested in a personal reading from me, I am available for personal readings and I would love to read for you. My website is lamartownsandtarot.com. The link will be in the description box below on YouTube in the comment section. This is my website, so if you are interested in a reading from me, this is where you can go. Um, this is my website. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. lamartownsandtarot.com. So you can schedule your reading with me via the Schedule Now button. It'll take you directly to my Schedulicity app, where you can schedule a reading with me. Um, also, I do tarot classes as well, so this is where the link you would use to schedule a class with me to do a tarot class. As you can see, um, 101 people have favorited this page. All right. Um, so you would just go to my services to schedule a reading with me. These are the types of readings I offer. Um, and then my classes are also over here. All right, tarot classes. But also, um, you can check out my book on Amazon, my podcast, and my music on iTunes. Follow me on Instagram. Um, but also check out my store section on my website, lamartownsandtarot.com, where everything is priced from most expensive to least expensive. And once again, I do natal chart, birth chart readings. I do psychic tarot readings. I do candles, bracelets, and more. All right. So, and I hand bead my bracelets myself and I ship them to you. All right. So also make sure you follow me on my TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitch at Lamar Townsend Tarot. I just went on Twitch earlier. I went live on Twitch earlier today to talk about video game, the future of the video game industry. And I did a psychic reading on that. So check out my Twitch and I currently have 40 followers on there. So I'm really excited about that. I've only been on there for a month. So thank you all, and let's get into <clears throat> Scorpio Psychic Reading for the months of October, November, and December of 2020. First of all, happy birthday to my Scorpios having a birthday during this time period, during this season. I hope you all are doing well, and let's go ahead and cleanse the energies. I'm going to burn some sage. Thank you for cleansing and clearing the energy of this space from many past readings. Thank you for protecting my energy, my thoughts, my mind, and my emotions. Thank you for protecting the energy, thoughts, minds, and emotions of those watching this video. Thank you for opening up the channel so that I can get a good reading on Scorpio and see what's in store for Scorpio for the months of October, November, and December of 2020. In Jesus' name I pray and thank you. Amen, amen, and amen. Put 
that to the side. Let's get into your reading, Scorpio. Immediately when I tap in, I hear good news coming your way. So there could be some good news coming your way. Um, maybe sometime in late November, late October, moving into November. There could be some good news coming your way. Some good news associated with you. Something along those lines. Um, and I'm hearing something is finalized. So maybe by then something may be finalized. Something you may be waiting on. Something like that. Um, I hear settlement. So it could deal with a settlement for some of you. Um... I don't know why I see like a velvet suit, which velvet to me always signifies royalty. It always signifies um, royalty, you know, um, there's something where I feel like you are elevating yourself in the sense of the way you present yourself to the world, the way you present yourself to people. There's something where it's. It's almost like you, you become a little bit self-conscious, but it's more so that you become conscious of, like, that your presentation of how you present yourself, um, whether it's the way you dress, the way you wear your hair, you know, your hair color, or the way you talk, the way you walk. Um, it could be, you know, your body, something to do with your body, but it's like you're realizing it affects people, you know, um, it can sway or persuade people or it can turn people off, you know, um, and it's almost like you've become hypersensitive to that. You've also become hypersensitive to the fact that energy can also sway, persuade people, you know, turn people off or bring people in your energy specifically, but it's also like your energy is one thing, but it's like if you invite someone over, the energy in your home is also a different thing. But, you know, it's like the energy, because people are going to associate you with the energy in your home. So it's like, there's something where you're noticing these kind of touch points of like, because it's like almost like I get this energy of it's like, you're looking at why do I, like, why, why do these things always happen to me? Like, why is it that whenever I bring a friend or a family member over or um, a potential lover or a potential d date, you know, it's like they never come back. Or whenever I go out with someone, it's like they, you know, they never, I never hear back from them, them again. Or I never get the job offer. It's like, the, you know, there's something maybe you're missing in the sense of like, presentation and um energy dealing with either something about you you either you your energy your style um your home itself you know clutter all of these things play a role in how people see you but also like how you feel about yourself as well so i do feel like there's something in, you know where it's like you're gonna want more refinement you're gonna want more structure you're gonna want more organization in your life because you're realizing that that is what helps you stay more focused so that's what helps you stay the energy flow easier for you and there's just something about scorpio where you're, you're scorpio is just a very energy sensitive sign mind you this is for scorpio sun moon rising venus mars mercury jupiter uranus pluto first through 12th house basically if you have scorpio in your chart then this reading is for you right um that's what i'm feeling I just feel like you just want a different quality of life. It's like certain things you used to put up with or you've been putting up with. It's like you're looking at it and it's like, I don't vibe with this anymore. You know, it's like, um, you know, I don't know why I get this energy where it's like, you know, people come over and they take their shoes off, you know, their socks and they kick their feet up on your your coffee table, you know, and it's like, you know, but there's something where it's like you wake up one day and you realize kind of how disrespectful that kind of is, especially when you've never made it a, like, a, a, a 
thing that you both agree upon to do this. It's like I never said you could do that. Like, after all these years, you know, I realized how disrespectful you are. Like, you t- you know, it's like realizing maybe that your partner, your, your, your wife, your husband talks to you in a very condescending tone. And it's like I've never, I'm just now realizing how condescending you can be to me. It's like something like that where it's like you're realizing something that's always been there but that needs refinement that needs change that needs new structure that needs like but it's also in how you present yourself though it's like there's something there too where your energy where you're like maybe you're also realizing because Scorpio is a very psychological sign too so you are someone where it's like why did this situation happen to me what about me attracted this situation to me I kind of see that for you where you're analyzing like but it's like, this is happening to me. I'm recognizing how disrespectful it is and how long I've been putting up with it. But it may take you a while to catch up to why it's happening. You know, at some point you may realize, oh, this has been happening because I've been presenting myself this way. It's almost like, you know, like a person who feels like their partner doesn't find them attractive. And it, it feels like every time you go out, your partner is always looking at other, you know, women or men or whatever your situation is, right? Um, but it's like, you don't re- recognize that, like, when you're at home, you don't really put effort into the way you look. You know, you don't mind, you know, you know going days not washing your hair, brushing your teeth, taking a bath, you know, um, wearing baggy clothes or, you know, just un- unpleasant, unelegant clothes, you know, when you go out, you put a little bit, effort, little effort into that. So it's like, you know, you're not kind of reminding yourself or your, or your partner for that matter of how attractive you actually are and can be, you know? So it's like, it's realizing that where it's like, I'm not getting what I want. I'm not getting the response I want, but I need to also realize what I'm doing or not doing in order to get the response that I want. That's what I feel. And then I feel a shift happening. For a lot of you, you've been working on this, though. Like, this is something you've been working on. This is something you've been aware of. And I feel like during this time, you're mastering that. You're mastering it. I can't wait to see your cards. You're mastering it. You're mastering the ability to, like, I guess, check yourself. You're mastering the ability to stand up for yourself. You're mastering the ability to speak what you want and stand firm in it, but also know that you deserve it. There's some powerful manifestation energy happening during this time for you, Scorpio. October through November would be a good time to do some manifestation work. Or it could be that this is a time where a lot of the manifestation work that you've already been doing, you're going to see finally come to fruition. Maybe once again, it's like little refinements that need to be made or needed to be made in order for them to fully come in. Little moments of self-awareness where it's like, oh, okay, I've been doing this. Maybe that's what's been blocking it. Maybe that's why this keeps happening or I keep running into this this type of situation, these type of people. It's like a light switch goes off. A a, a light switch goes off during this time. For you, but also it's like, okay, something, it's on, it's ready. She's ready. Turn the lights on, you know, turn the machine on. He's ready. He's got it now. We can get things in motion. The wheel's turning. That's what I feel for you during this time. What a great way to end your, in the year, one number one, but also to end your, or start, or whatever, how this transitions for you during your birthday period. Wow. All right, let's get to your cards and see what's going on. Let's go ahead and cleanse the cards, Scorpio.
Thank you for cleansing and clearing the energy of this deck. May I pass reading in Jesus' name, I pray. Thank you. Amen. 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 Right. Gotta love the smell of sage. Especially fresh sage. Isn't it wonderful? Alright, let's see. What messages does Spirit have for Scorpio for the months of October, November, and December of Did I say the wheels turn? The wheels turn, and I feel like the wheels turn in your favor. The wheels turn based off your reputation, based off your sense of endurance. You've been through a lot, but yet, like, you've never really changed. There's something about you where you've been bruised, you've been, you know, beaten down, but at the same time, there's something about you where you've never lost your luster, you've never lost your inner light. It was your inner light that always shone through and brought you goodness even in the midst of depression or sadness. But it was also your inner light that healed you and healed others. How beautiful is that? I get the tower. Could be worries about around money, changes around money. Um... I don't know why I just heard hit with a lawsuit, possibly, during this time period. Um, but I feel like if that's the case, you'll win. But I'm also hearing be, be careful of like getting scammed as well during this time with your money. Be careful of that. Be careful of investing your money in something you're unsure of. Stick to the uh, rivers you're used to during this time. Um, but I hear also debt collectors as well, so I'm not sure, quite sure. Um... the Knight of Cups, though. This could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, who's quite prominent. This could also be you. Um, they come with a message. They could come with a message of hope. They could also be a child. I don't know why I feel like. Could be a child that's passed on. Um... I get the hermit, so there could be a sense of loneliness, feeling alone, maybe feeling depressed due to love, or romance, or lack thereof, currently. But I don't know, I see you kind of like, I just... Sorry, that was my cat, um, doing God knows what. Um... I feel like you're going to get invited out. I feel like people are going to want to see you. People are going to want to invite you to places. Of course, within... 
pandemic rules and regulations, you know, whatever that situation is. But, um, I don't know. I see people, I don't know why I see also someone wanting to set you up with, like, someone else. Could also be spirit trying to set you up with someone else. I do get a fire sign. Queen of Wands would be more of a feminine, em emotionally intelligent, nurturing um, creative type of energy. They could be a Libra or they could be an Aries Sagittarius Leo. Um, but I get the Ace of Wands, which tells me that this is a time of action for you, Scorpio. This is a time of action, pro, being proactive and moving forward. Um, and manifestation. The Ace of Wands is also a card of manifestation. You're very powerful at this time, and you're able to manifest whatever you want. But I do feel like a lot of things that you've already, like, you've been trying to manifest are going to manifest during this time. Um, be careful of, um, once again, investing, um, getting caught up into group or, um, pyramid scheme type of, you know, MLM thing, you know, situations. Um, also be careful of possible travel during this time, Scorpio, especially if you're, it's like if you're planning to travel to, um, go visit a friend in a different state or country, but like that friend has living situation issues or some issues going on. It's like, you know, maybe not travel or get your own travel like you know um hotel or something like that because you, you just never, never know what may happen but um just be mindful of stuff like that and it's like i don't know why here move in silence move in silence and move on your own understand that you don't necessarily need anyone else to like entertain you to make things happen like you are powerful all in your own right and there's something about if you move in silence Things will be able to manifest easier for you. Because I do get the energy that there's things that are going to manifest this the, during this time period for you, Scorpio, that you forgot about. That you forgot you even asked about, pray to God about, pray to your ancestors about, your spirit guides. I feel like there's going to be some stuff like that, alright, that kind of come up. Alright. Alright, Scorpio, that was my reading for you. If you want to elaborate any further, I recommend getting a personal reading from you. From, from me via my website lamartownsandtarot.com also follow me on my twitch instagram facebook and tiktok at lamartownsandtarot subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the bell next to the subscribe button and i will see you all in the next video i'll see you in the next reading all right or i'll see you for your own personal reading either way i'll see you soon love and light god bless